Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by Mess, the Duke of Delirium. Having a little bottle share and starting out with one of the beers that was sent to me from David in the US. So thanks a bunch David for the beer. This one is one I'm pretty excited about because I'm a big fan of the show and comic that it's a tribute to. And this is none other than Terrapins, the Walking Dead Blood Orange IPA. Red India Pale Ale brewed with blood orange peel and rye. So awesome label. We got a zombie a terrapin turtle and zombies in the background. I think it's a more a tribute to the comics because of the font, because that's how the font of the, the, the logo or the name looks in the comics. And yeah, I've pretty much read up until when the whispers and whatnot starts coming. And I'm not gonna say anymore because the guy out like that's not on camera, watches the show, hasn't read the comics, so let's keep it there. No spoilers. But in the background. But this is cool, they got, you know, Terrapin is based in Atlanta, Georgia, where a lot, a lot of the episodes from Walking Dead were shot and where a lot of the, the things in the comics happen. So that's pretty much the perfect brewery to do a collaboration with. So it says here, it's kind of fun, Terrapin Beer Company and The Walking Dead have teamed up to brew the official beer of the undead. Made with blood orange peel and a horrific amount of hops with blood thirsty, uh, uh, hops this bloodthirsty red IPA will help you prepare for the upcoming zombie apocalypse. So. Yeah, this should be interesting. It yeah. really looks like a rye. Of course, it's blood orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. blood orange. Yeah. yeah. Did I say grapefruit? I think I said grapefruit maybe before, but no. That looks like a red rye IPA. Yeah. <laughs> Almost nice. brown. Yeah. Really dark coffee. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And there's like a nice one finger of a beige head. Slightly tan, almost. Yeah. yeah. Check out the aroma. Lots of rye. <laughs> or like. Also, I mean, I think they released this last year because there's a little bit of tea leaf. Yeah, there's an underlying sweetness uh, to it as well, I think. But, yeah, but usually red IPAs are very sweet on the malt profile. Yeah. But this is almost like uh, like candy. Uh, yeah, uh, almost sweet. like candy orange peel. Yep. Like you sometimes have for Christmas. Sweet malt, caramel good. toffee notes. And uh, ABD. Oh, I forgot. 6.7. So, standard IPA thing. Uh, yeah, it's got some slight, that kind of black tea thing. There's grapefruit, citrus, pine. Pretty much like a more malt forward IPA, or as they yeah. call it, red IPA. So, yeah, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. And thanks a ton to David for the beer. That reminds me of Racer 5. No, not Racer 5. Uh, Rye Racer or something from um, Bear Republic. Hmm. It's called something Rye something. It's a Rye Rye IPA too. That's a nice red like, IPA. Really coating uh, sweetness up front and then mm -hmm. like a more I mean, totally different from what style of IPA is popular <clears throat> now. Oh yeah, uh, totally different. Uh, but but it's you can definitely tell that it has a, a, a little high bit. End, uh, uh, malt profile. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely malt shine. There's this kind of sweet caramel, toffee, caramel. bready, rye bread, hefty, freshly baked bread on it. But you still get some of the hops. This is probably for people who really like old, old school IPA flavors where you have balance between top hops and malt. Mm. Because there's a balance. There's that grapefruit. There's the blood orange, some pine. A little bit of tea leaf. It's nice stuff. It's not mind-blowingly amazing, though. That's amazing. It's kind of got an arrogant bastard vibe going on about it. Actually. Maybe a little bit, yeah. It has a nice, like, almost, not full body, but a big body. Mm hmm Kind of slightly chewy, yeah. like medium. Yeah. Uh, quite dry, not overtly bitter. Again, it's kind of, it's bitter, but it's kind of balanced between the hops and malt. Yeah, it does remind me of kind of a more citrusy, arrogant bastard, almost. Because it's got the same kind of malt profile. Mm. And I haven't had arrogant bastard in a while, but I would have loved to try this when they just released it. I mean, it's still good. It's best before the fifth uh, uh, of July, so. Mm. I think it. I think it's probably like eighty-five, six something. Like I was thinking eighty-eight. Okay. I think it's a really nice for a red IPA, but red IPA is in the style I'm super hooked on anymore. But I really wanted to try it because it was a Walking Dead beer. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, eighty-eight for me. And eighty-five for me. So yeah, guys, that does it for the beer review of the Terrapin. The Walking Dead Blood Orange IPA. Definitely let us know what you think of this bad boy if you've had a chance to try it. Thanks a ton to David for this one. It was cool to try the Walking Dead beer.
<laughs> yep. And uh, yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and Insta Wing. We're gonna say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.